One of the most powerful features of the Safan press brake is ease of programming. Here's a quick overview of the simple steps required to take your part from concept to reality. Hello, I'm Chris Kendon, Applications Engineer with Capital Machine Technologies. I'd like to take a moment of your time to illustrate the ease of programming with the Safan e-control. The part that I want to program today, we have an 18 gauge steel product with six bins. So we'll illustrate how quickly and easily that this can be done. First thing we do, select new file from the file menu and give the file a name. In this case, we'll call the part demo. Check that. So we have three menu items here, material, tools, and data. The first thing we'll give it is a material thickness, 48 thousandths. We'll select our material type from the material menu and steel. And we'll also tell it how wide the part is, in this case, about eight inches. The next thing we need to do is tell it what tools that we want to use. We'll select our punch from our punch library. It's already here. Our die from our die library. And then we'll verify that that data is correct for our tooling and our material. As we satisfy all the conditions, we get check marks and we can progress to the next menu item. Item three, this is our tool layout. So we can graphically represent where our tools are located on the bed and the beam. Simply by touching the punch, we can give it a punch length of eight inches and a relative position from the edge of the beam of 56 inches. Same thing applies for our die. We'll tell it that we have an eight inch die relatively 56 inches from the edge. Our next menu item are our axis commands. We have our Y axis commands and essentially what we need to do here is just tell it the angle that we're looking for. In this case, 90 degrees. And then our XZR menu item is for our back gauge. And we can give it a flange length. And we have multiple options for flange length. We can give it the direct bend line. We can tell it to calculate an inside to inside dimension, an outside dimension, or an outside to an inside flange dimension. In this case, we'll just select an outside flange dimension. 1.7 inches, check, and it automatically calculates everything we need. Since the second bend is identical to the first bend, we can simply add another step at the end. It retains all the previous information from the previous step, and that step is done, and we can move to the next step. So we'll add another step at the end for step three. Here we have a different flange length, 680 thousandths. So all we have to do is tell it our flange length that retains all of our information from the previous step. Again, new step at the end, flange length 1.7, check. One more step at the end, 680, check. And then our final step, 1.7 inches once again. At this point, we've given it all the information that it needs to execute the program. We select cycle start, and this part is ready to be bent. So, to initiate the program, we simply break the light curtain with our hand. Now we're ready to bend. Simple programming, together with the power and speed of a precision press brake system by Safan, becomes press brake perfection.